put you on the spot the last couple days. I'm going to do it one more time as we assign some uh, some grades to Team USA, Mike. I want to I want to you know just your your A B C D F. Uh, hopefully not, um, but you know let's let's run through the the lineup and and you grade them for me. Um, let's start with Shane Van Boning. What, what how does he grade out for you? Uh, B. B for Shane. Uh, maybe B minus. Okay. I think from a pocketing ball pocketing standpoint and and average you know tournament total performance average things like that he was fine um i think he lacked what his teammates needed in him which was uh some leadership some some rah-rah some pats on the back some you know you see body language with shane you see eye rolls you see head shakes um and you just you just can't have that from your best player uh, and expect it not to affect other players adversely. So, um, you know, from that standpoint, I knock him down a notch. I thought that he could have been a better leader this year. I didn't think that it was so dire that um, that he needed to shrug his shoulders, and I thought he did that. Grade for uh, the rookie, Chris Robinson. What'd you think of Chris? What, what'd you grade him at? A all the way. No, no doubt about it. I mean, you know, going in, the expectations were. You know, don't be a disaster. Don't <laughs> don't be a weak link. Don't right. make the other guys, you know, salivate when they see your name on the list. And um, he acquitted himself very well. He was called out the minute that he was picked, and he let that roll off his back. He was called out by Jason Shaw and social media as being determined to be the, the he was going to be the downfall of Team USA. He let that roll off right off his back. He is a, a confident um quiet kid, super nice, super, you know, uh, into learning the game. Uh, and he's not going to get ruffled. He was the coolest guy on the team when it came to playing matches this week. He, he was the one who showed the least amount of nerves. Agreed. Um, and, and it was just, I can't, you know, I, I've gone on about him too much, I suppose, in the last couple of days, but I can't go on enough about how impressed I was with how he handled the adversity and with how he handled the arena. Yeah, I think you're exactly right. And I, I felt the same way. I certainly, I, I think he was the one bright spot um, you come away from this Moscone Cup with, for, for Team USA at least. Uh, Billy Thorpe, how did you think Billy fared this year? What grade do you give him? Uh, B. B. Billy was, you know, he, he, he struggled a little bit in his match today with Chris, and Chris kind of carried him over to finish line. Uh, but, you know, his intensity, his enthusiasm, um, you know, was there. And, and he didn't shoot poorly. He didn't blow any matches that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, you know, he just, he didn't play, he didn't play it his A game. Yeah. Um, I was actually expecting him to be a real difference maker this year um, to step into that next level role. And he didn't quite get there, but, um, but solid. I like him going ahead. So the, the grading's probably only going to get more difficult, Mike, as, as we move down the roster. Um, Sky Woodward, you know, again, we've already kind of talked about not certainly not his best tournament, probably his, his worst Moscone performance. What, uh, where are we grading Skyler for 2020 Moscone Cup? Yeah, the grading actually gets kind of easy at this end of the <laughs> roster because it's just not good. Um, Skyler, I would give C... You know, I, I thought that he didn't, you know, he didn't play as poorly as that performance average might indicate, um, but he just wasn't himself, um, and he's someone that you need to step up. He takes he takes a lot of heat off of Shane when he's playing well. Um, I think that going into this event, if you asked the Europeans who they were most concerned about on Team USA, they would have all said Skyler because they've seen the way he performed the last couple of years. Right. And he just kind of didn't didn't come close this year. So, uh, but you know, he tried and he had a couple of glimpses there. So I, I'd give him a C Corey, uh, D I, I didn't think that Corey showed up at all. Um, you know, he never looked confident. He never looked, you know, committed. Um, and he looked defeated right out of the gate. Uh, so that's just, you know, when another team sees that and they think, well, you know, we're playing five against four the rest of the week. That, that's that, that takes a lot of heat off them and, and loosens up their their swing a lot, trust me. 
Yeah, and, and kind of a, you know, not, not to defend Corey, but in his situation, obviously, he was added very last minute. I mean, you know, 10 days ago, I don't think he had any idea that he was going to be going to the Moscone Cup. So, you know, it, it's not easy to get thrown into that, even though he's been there before. I mean, and traveling right now and all the things that that entails in this crazy world. So, um, you know, but yeah, I agree. Dis disappointing performance for him. Well, Mike, we appreciate you, uh, you joining us the last few days. I'm sorry we won't have a chance to to catch up tomorrow, but it looks like, uh, are you moving, is Billiards Digest moving offices? Are you in the office today? I am in the new office today, yeah, All which right. is, uh, yeah, it's not, not too far from where our old office was. It's still downtown Loop in Chicago, and uh, uh, great little building, great little space. Yeah, gonna enjoy it here. The, the but Billiards, it's been, yeah. The, been a tough couple of, been a couple of, uh, tough couple of days moving i tell you what uh, i bet well uh we, we do appreciate it again mike is the publisher of billiards digest i would encourage all of our viewers to go to his website right now or as soon as we're done with this broadcast <laughs> billiardsdigest.com sign up for a one-year subscription it's the best magazine in the pool world you won't be disappointed it shows up right in your mailbox uh some of the best photography you'll see in the pool industry uh, and obviously some of the best insight from, from Mike Pinozo. Mike, thanks again for joining us. We will see you again in the near future, I'm sure. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, thank you, guys. It's been a pleasure. Great job. Enjoyed it. Yeah.